Hey everyone, tonight I had an awesome opportunity to go down to LA to go to the silent movie theater on Fairfax for a Hollywood premiere of a, a small film that I don't think a lot of people have talked about. They had, an, they had a party before, we got our seats, we got to uh, mingle with the uh, people that were in the film and starred in the film and then afterwards we actually went to uh, an after party. Uh, the movie that we saw tonight is a small indie film called The Problem Why. And uh, it was, you know, well, I don't really want to explain what the movie's about. Anyway, it, examination of three different characters as they're dealing with life after high school and they get together once they find out there's a reunion. So one of the characters, actually, and I'm explaining the movie, one of the characters is kind of a loner type, doesn't really know how to talk to women. The other one knows how to talk to women, but he's going through a divorce. And the third one is a drunk and pretty much just likes to get high and stuff like that. So they come together and go on a road trip. And I would not have had the opportunity to see this movie if it wasn't for this man who is associated with my cousin. So I've got Cousin Rich right here. What's up, everybody? Nice <laughs> to see you again. And Chuck. Now, what did you do to this movie, Chuck? Yeah, I was, uh, had the opportunity to bring in the movie car for it and uh, got uh, a 62 Nova, which uh, landed in my lap um, mir miraculously. And uh, just made it happen for uh, my, my good buddy Joseph, the producer. Awesome, dude. Yeah. So, yeah, I appreciate that because it was a fun movie. I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, I did take some issues with it. And it's kind of weird because I usually review movies and I never got to t t talk to the director. And when I was playing, like, I don't really want to do a review for this. You know, I don't want to come out with the criticisms that I have about the movie. And I do have a few criticisms. And then he was like, go ahead, slap the movie. I don't care. You know, tell me what you didn't like. So I actually got to tell him what I didn't like. So I'm going to tell you right now what I didn't like about this movie. I would say that uh, the editing, I would say just chop it up a little bit, you know, get some of the there's really there's a lot of long shots, and I wish there was more uh, stuff where there's some inner monologues and some more storytelling because there's some really great storytelling with one of the characters who's who's the drunk and he goes on this whole the telling of his family, or actually the kids uh, lying to the school because they all wanted to get out of school. So uh, that was really funny. But you know, it was a it was a small indie film. It didn't cost very much. They shot it last summer with your with the car that you got, Chuck. And they turn it around and they turn it into a movie. So that's pretty awesome. Anything you want to say, Cousin Rich? I have to say that what I really enjoyed about it, and I thought it was kind of refreshing, is, um, you know, the storyline obviously was, you know, um, it, 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 in a lot of cases it seemed like there, it had been done before. But the, the way that they kind of brought it about it seemed kind of like... Uh, like they were doing it kind of almost improv. A lot of the scenes really seems like that they weren't acting. It was more as if they were really truly in character. And so I really appreciated um, how they were able to capture that because a lot of times you go to movies and you go see an actor and eventually they kind of almost get typecast because they seem to almost just play the same type of person. In this, I think you could probably see at least some of the characters in it uh, really having a wide uh, diversified ability as far as like being comedic as well as like very, uh, um, how, what would you say, like how do you say very serious? Like what would you say? Serious. Yeah, I guess okay. So. Yeah, uh, and, and Chuck, you kind of have a funny story because you actually um, one of the guys uh, who's played Jimmy. His name is Matthew Teardrop, and this is his first film. But throughout the film, he's doing something. And what did you get a chance to do with him? At, you don't, if you don't mind sharing. Oh, not at all. No, man. I uh, right when I walked out the door after the movie, I just wanted to chase down some of the some of the people I had was it oh, didn't you, oh, excuse me wasn't able to meet, <laughs> and I immediately went up to Matt and said, "Hey, man, what's going on? It was a great job. Congratulations." He's like, "Here you go." Have a drink, and I'm all, yeah, baby, let's go. Because this is what they were doing throughout the movie. They were just yeah. having cocktails, having a uh, shot, of, shot of whiskey, shot of coke, <laughs> shot of whiskey, shot of coke. Maybe a little peyote too. <laughs> but you hey, have man, to see the movie to find out. Yeah, I mean, you got to see the movie to check it out. Great flick, enjoyed it thoroughly, and uh, you know what? Uh, I think Joseph's going to do really well with what he's doing, what it's uh, he's got going on in the future, and like uh, what I think is the movie was really authentic. A lot of authentic characters and uh, you know genuine style, uh, genuine uh, what do you call it? Style, uh, style, and I really really like what they were doing and. Just so fortunate that I got the car in the movie, so yeah, how appreciate you, it. How, like that, man. You got my car. name in the lights, and you're not. And your name was Can on credits. It? it was a picture yeah. car. Picture car. So, so congratulations uh, on that. Yeah. So anything it. else you want to say, really quick, Rick, before we close out? 
Um, I just have to say that if Snow White had the same mirror that's in this movie, she would have had a way better trip. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we, we met one of the actors that played, his character's name is the mirror in the of the universe, the mirror yeah, of the universe, yeah. played yeah. by an actor, played by an actor named uh, Graham uh, Mackey, who actually was in some other films we went, uh, saw, to, uh, we, I've actually seen Hit and Run, he was naked in that movie, thankfully he was not naked in this film, but you know, uh, I really had a good time, it's a small indie darling, a uh, little film, uh, that is, uh, you know, not for everyone. It's going to probably bore some people, but at the same time, I, I think it had a heart to it. And I, I just, uh, I wish it was, uh, I just wish we got to know these characters just a little bit more than we actually did because I felt like some of them were very interesting at the same time. Uh, uh, you felt sad because they're, they're kind of a little pathetic, and I could relate to that somewhat because okay. at one time I was yeah. sad and pathetic. <laughs> okay, one yes. last thing I'd have to say is, is uh, about the guys that did this is what, one of the things is you guys obviously that watch this, and I, I think a lot of you kind of come from the same background, that's why you watch these reviews, is that you actually care about like what you want to spend your time seeing. And what I really enjoy about seeing indie films is you get to see the development. You know, It's one thing to go and see a director or a producer and what they're able to create you know with a hundred million dollar budget and once they've like had five ten really successful movies under their belt but to see them like right at their beginning stages is really kind of it's it's a great experience because you get to see what they do when they come from having no budget and 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 what kind of story they're able to develop with that and so i think what we're going to see from w watching what we did is that these guys uh are definitely going to be able to bring some more things to the table in their next uh uh, their next productions, and I, I'm really looking forward to seeing them. Awesome. Anything you want to say, Chuck, before we close out? No, all good. Go check out uh, The Problem Why. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, uh, again, want to thank uh, Chuck. If it wasn't for him and his finding that magical car for the film, I would not be here enjoying this premiere of this really small film that I hope that uh, will get out to some festivals. I don't know when it's actually going to get released, and hopefully if, if it does hit festivals one day, it'll be streaming on Netflix or Hulu or some sort of streaming site. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm also going to post uh, the intro to the movie. What I'm saying down below, I'm going to give you a link to the movie trailer. At the same time as I'm also going to, if I didn't post it before this or after, I'm going to post uh, the video of the director and the producer actually introducing the film and talking about that a little bit. So look forward to that coming to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Movie Man Chat. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to we Live Film. Also go to Long Beach Acting and Film Association right here on Facebook and Twitter. Please also go to MoviePile.com. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click right here, subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Have a great day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful life. And it's time to go home now. All right, everyone. Peace out. Peace, peace.